Do you ever get that feeling that you're not really making much progress in your goals? Maybe these are long held goals. You've had them for maybe, maybe years and you just feel like you're running into a block. You're stagnant with the goal. It's not making progress. You don't feel like you're growing as much anymore. I'm going to address a question here about this and I'm going to give you some advice as to well, where is that feeling coming from and how can I actually start to make progress in my goals again? How can I start to get that feeling of making daily progress? Momentum is building. I'm growing in terms of my goal. So hopefully it'll be of interest to you. And uh, the question starts off. It says, I feel like I'm stagnant in my life and not making any real progress. Many of the areas in my life in which I've been trying to improve have plateaued and I'm not making any real progress. I'm frustrated and as I'm not exactly sure why, sorry, I'm frustrated as I'm not exactly sure why. I stay consistent in my goals. So it's not about consistency, which is interesting. This person feels like they are being quite consistent in engaging with their, with their goals. Which, and then obviously you would expect them to be making progress, but they don't feel like they are. Fairly consistent anyway. Okay, so fairly consistent. I feel like I should have made more progress by now, given the time I've put in and the length of time I've been trying to see improvement. I keep trying to take action, but I'm feeling stuck and getting frustrated. A question is from Brian, and uh, I hope this issue or this, this response here, Brian, will be helpful because, and I'm hoping it'll be helpful to other people as well. It's that feeling of being stagnant and I'm not making progress. Okay, so action. The action part is there. You're taking action, fairly consistent action anyway. And consistency, sure, it is an important part of it. But what I would say is nowhere in, in, that, in your question, and maybe you just didn't get into it, but I just want to check with this. Nowhere did I see you refer to something I call, well, many people call it your mindset. What is your mindset like? How have you been addressing what your mindset is like? So as a culture, we are obsessed with action. Now action, don't get me wrong, is important. Action for all of us in our goals will it'll look like, yep, I take consistent action. For sure, that's, that's pretty fundamental. But what we're not so good at in our culture is what mindset am I in before I start to take action? We are totally oblivious to the importance of this. So to become intentional before we take the action. Now, that's not just something to say here in a glib way uh, in a video. You should be more intentional, work on your mindset. Well, that, it's an investment really I'm, I'm inviting you to consider making here. And the investment is, okay, action, sure, it's a big part of it for me. How am I going to start addressing what my mindset is like before I take action? And what I would suggest for people is, before you do anything, just sit down for a few minutes. And be committed to the action for sure, but just to sit down for a few minutes and allow yourself to get in touch with what your feelings are, maybe even write down how you're feeling about this. And it could be, well, today I don't feel particularly good about this, taking this action, but I feel like I have to take the action or else I won't make any progress. Just honestly like that, okay? Right now I feel overwhelmed, I feel tired, I feel frustrated that I'm not making any progress with this. Well, try to understand, well, where is that frustration coming from before you move into the action? Sit with that for a while. And then you may notice that your emotions start to change or at least you feel like your emotions have been validated and heard. And then move into the action part. Just to acknowledge that, okay, I'm taking some time to be mindful about, well, where my mind is, what is my mindset like before I move into action? And that, um, any action uh, that you're trying to be consistent with, particularly goal-oriented action, it's super important to start looking at that. Now, 
many people won't like that advice because as I said, as a culture, we are obsessed with action, action, action at all costs. But what I'm saying is sharpen your process, make the action you take more effective by understanding, well, what's my intention? What am I actually trying to do here with this? Not only what am I trying to do, how am I trying to feel when I do it? People think, well, that's too long. It's going to make sure it's going to, it's going to take away time from the actual doing. The actual doing is important, but there's that quote of, uh, I think it was Abe Lincoln, if I had six hours uh, to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first five sharpening my ax. Just to get into the intention, set a space in your life for, I'm going to do some inner work here before I engage with this, to find out what my intention is and to have a positive intention. So all the action you do from that place will be taken with intention. Intention behind your action is a huge, huge part of it. It's not simply action for action's sake, because you can stick in that, that pattern of action, 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 and you can be consistent with it. And after many, many years, you realize this isn't working for me. I'm feeling exhausted. I'm not feeling engaged with it. I may even come to resent the thing that I'm trying to grow in and improve in. So it's, it's to become more conscious of what your mindset is and become more conscious when you're taking the time to reflect on things like that. You're becoming conscious of the fact that I'm growing now. I'm, 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 I'm acknowledging the growth that's, that's there and that's taking place because sometimes we don't even see the growth that's taking place because we're so busy in action. Practical terms, let's say you're, you're doing a hobby or something that you're trying to improve in. Sometime beforehand, what's my intention? Just give yourself that space. And maybe later on after you take the action, maybe even at the end of your day, you can just reflect back on, well, what was that experience like for me? Way more investment in the psychology behind it um, than just purely action. And what I would say is for procrastination again, this is advice I give to the procrastinators that contact me. This is a huge part of procrastination, making it so that you actually don't mind going towards that thing that you're working on because you're acknowledging any emotions that are there for you rather than burying them or berating yourself for having them or not feeling good, or not feeling motivated. So I hope I'm in clear about that. All I'm saying in this video is set some time before you take action to look at what your intention is. And trust me, in the long haul, if you invest in that, you will get way more done anyway. You'll see way more growth. You'll take way more action because procrastination won't be an issue anymore anyway. So invitation to do the inner work and uh, invest in it because you will not be sorry. And I promise you that you'll start to feel better emotionally too. It'll be a big, big changer for you. I hope that was a helpful answer. And if anyone has a question or they'd like to learn more about my procrastination resources, you can just visit my website, drdavidmalmoney.com. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.